Hey guys, welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Tico here, and uh, I'm on another adventure. The last time we went on an adventure, we were looking for the Styx River. Well, we found it, and we found a canoe rental and the tube rental. But now, when he said they went four miles upstream, and then floated, people floated back, got me wondering, where is that upstream spark? Spark, I can't talk. So, that's where I'm going to go. Check that out. You guys want to come along? Come on. Well, this road that I went down is uh, no outlet. It's just a residential area down there. Um, houses weren't that great, but there were one or two that were very nice. But I did drive by a dirt road up here, which looked promising. So let's see where that one goes. Well, here's a promising road that doesn't say no trespassing. So, let's check it out. It's a little rugged, not too bad. A little uh, more rugged than I'd want to take a family car uh, uh, down. But Pepper can handle this no problem at all. I'm not sure if this is going to get to the Styx River or not. But even if it doesn't, it's a little exploring, right? Okay, somebody lives back there. So maybe this is a road and uh, there's uh, some really secluded places to live. I don't know. We'll find out shortly. Just hope nobody shoots at us, right? That's kind of a nice road. No sense having a Jeep if you don't explore. Yeah, okay. Maybe down here we're gonna get some signage that says, stay away. Nope, here we go. We found it. I think we found it. Six River Canoes, no outlet. Should we go left or should we go right? Well, everything's telling me to go right. At least my brain, you know, keep right. So let's see what's going on. Six River Canoes established in 1986 and there's no outlet and it's a private road but it doesn't say you can't go down it. I mean it's not like we're gonna do anything right so let's check it out. This part of the road looks like it's been traveled a little bit. The ground is compacted. Yep, looks like we found it. So the buses must come here and dump everybody off. Oh yeah. This be it. Posted, private property. No trespassing. If you did not rent your tube, canoe, etc. from Styx River Canoe. So this is it. Let's just... Uh, pull over a little bit. Let me backtrack. We'll go up on this knoll where we're out of the way and uh, we'll get out of the Jeep and see what it looks like. Okay, Pepper did his job. Really kind of a neat spot. Wow. Alright, we're just going to park a minute. You know when the guy up there said that this is a uh, they drop them off four miles up the road you knew I had to take a peek right so here we are and it looks pretty interesting there's some people that must have just got dropped off so this is the start point and it looks like the current from the river is going to the left so really kind of neat real quiet back here I'll bet you the scenery on the tubing is really really nice
Got some people that are doing it. Off they go. Ooh. Water must be real warm. I'll tell you what, if you do go, you're going to need some bug spray. Because they're starting to attack me here. And there they go, floating down. I can see where you could bring a cooler full of beer or whatever your favorite beverage is, whether it be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Really pretty. So now we know where it starts. And uh, if you subtract, if you do it in a straight line, I don't think it's four miles, but I'll bet you if you're canoeing down the river or rafting down the river or tubing down the river with all the curves and bends, it's going to be four miles. So, nice ride. Okay, they're hung up on something there, a rock or something. Yep, there's a rock sticking up. Hopefully it won't punch a hole in the canoe or in the tube. I'll get it right, canoe, tube, you know what I'm saying, flotation device, how's that? God, I'm going to get a thumbs down for that, I know I am. By the way, what's up with those thumbs down? There's always one. Holy smokes. Is there a rule out there that says you got to get one thumbs down at least? Darn. Depressing. In any case, yeah, flotation device. All right, there you go. Very nice. So it's uh, way back here. You guys saw it. I mean, it's not a treacherous road. Pepper had no trouble with it. Look at that handsome devil sitting there. And uh, very nice scenery, nice and quiet. Yep. Right out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's, you know, off the beaten path, but not way off the beaten path. All right. So we found, I'm glad I took the time to look. Yeah. I really enjoyed uh, the adventure. I only made one mistake, and it wasn't a big one, but I had a feeling this dirt road was going to be the one that was going to bring us to our destination. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for lots more adventures. Bye-bye.